Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on this old natural gas heater that we salvaged from our original house. Uh, this thing was in the crawl space. You can see I already have the like burner bar taken out. I have that sitting right over here, but I just wanted to show you guys this thing. I think it's like a 80,000 BTU natural gas furnace. This heated our old house. The old house was about 800 square feet. So I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna be able to keep up pretty good with the new place up here. This is only going to heat the living quarters and it's really not even gonna be the main source of heat. We're gonna have a wood stove up there. We already have a wood stove actually, it's in storage. We bought it over the summer and stored it at my parents' place. So we gotta get that. Um, but this is gonna be the backup for if we go somewhere for a couple days or um, if for whatever reason, it needs to kick on um, this thing will kick on and we'll have a little propane tank to run that But what we have to do since we don't have natural gas hookups and we don't really want natural gas hookups We want to be kind of self-reliant and Have all the stuff like that So we're gonna have to convert this thing to propane and get a propane tank and we do have that conversion kit on hand So that's what we're working on right now. So as I said, I already have this burner bar taken off and what I've done is there's a spring down underneath that white screw. That's a plastic screw that you got to take out. And I took that out and there's just like a little pen spring in there. And that comes with this kit with all the orifices and put the new spring in there. And then you take out the old orifices. See, I got one new one in here. And these are the old natural gas ones that are still left. I still have to take these out. And you can just tell right away that the propane one compared to the natural gas one is much smaller. All right, so let's take the rest of these guys out. That one's already cracked loose. Some of these were pretty tight. Okay, so we got the new orifices in. We have the spring inside here. Let's get this in here. I think it went like that. That'll be too high. Mm -hmm. I think.
Get your hand out of it. Jam it over it. Gonna have some more heat. Possibly. braided toilet hose. And then do the side. Okay. Stand back. All right guys, so day two of working on our other furnace. And what I think my problem is, is I think, um, oh, what is this thing called? I think it's the gas valve that is not functioning right it's not opening so what i've done i'll show you guys here so what i've done is i actually went into town and i bought the little tamper proof bits and took this apart because these were all tamper proof screws so this is the gas valve assembly on this thing and there's a plunger that goes let me get my finger out of the way there's a plunger that goes here and I took that one out and that's like the first valve. And then it comes over here to this plunger and that's the second and it's this one that's not functioning. This one isn't popping up. It's supposed to push it up and it's not popping it up. So what I've done is just taken both of those plungers out of the gas valve assembly and I'm gonna do it manually. You know, when this thing calls for, for gas, I'll just open this valve manually right here. See if it works. Yeah, so let's put the gasket back on. Okay. All right. So let's, let's give people a rundown of what we got going on here. So we went to the local hardwood store and got a regulator attached to our barbecue propane tank. And they had a bunch of little galvanized fittings. So we placed all these fittings together. They didn't have a propane line, but they did have a toilet bowl or a toilet water line. So we got this toilet water line going up here going into our half inch fitting into our oh, gas valve that is all remanufactured by yours truly going into this little tube Oop, pizza's done and into those things where the flame should shoot so we'll see so the gas is on but the regulator is off so we'll plug this bad boy in
we'll do this thing and clear for a second, and then we'll give it some gas. Okay, so we'll check furnace number two off the list of getting them running. And we do have a new uh, fuel valve on order. Just want a little heat in the meantime out here to supplement everything else because it's kind of chilly. So that's running for now. We're gonna keep a close eye on it because we did just kind of rig the gas valve on that. Um, but should be fine. I got the regulator turned way down. All right, well, that probably wraps this one up, guys. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe down below. Thanks, see ya.